This is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Yeah, I'll take that. 10-4, copy that. Clear after you.
Finally! I called you people like an hour ago! How did you get this number? No, no, no. It's not like that, Mom. Drop me off at a repair shop. And one that's not gonna charge me a small fortune. Let's pick up the pace here! Seriously unacceptable response time. I'm just saying. Shit, you can get out and walk if you don't like it. Whoa, simmer down, buddy. I'm not blaming you, per se. You're just... What the hell?
and dispatch. Broken down car at Spanish Avenue. Who's in the vicinity? Over. Yeah, I'll take that. 10-4. Copy that. Clear after you. you people like an hour ago. Drop me off at a repair shop, and one that's not going to charge me a small fortune. Let's pick up the pace here.
Well, we made it. I won't mention you on the complaint form. Franklin, what's cracking? Not your ass, I hope. I covered that job, all right? Now stay off the rock. You feel me? I'm high on life now, baby. It's a new dawn. Hello? Bro, you busy? You wanna hang out? All right, nigga, let's do that. You know where I'm at. I won't be long. I'm sorry, fool. <laughs> here, Some other time, baby. This ride is a little small. real? What's up, homie? Sad state of affairs, homie. It really depresses me what these people done in my country. Your country? <laughs> nigga, the only way to get a piece of this corrupt motherfucker is to get rich, nigga. Real what? rich. Nigga, you wouldn't even understand, nigga. My people feel a deep sadness. Nigga, this gonna be more of that bullshit Apache shit? Look here, check this out, man. I really, really don't appreciate when you little my heritage like that, dog. Your heritage? Nigga, I know your people. Ain't none of them motherfuckers got tomahawks in their hands or any of that native shit whatsoever. They ain't even light-skinned, dog. That's why you don't know history, nigga. One drop, motherfucker, it's there. I can't participate in no society that systematically disenfranchised an indigenous population, of which I am part. We spiritual people, homie. These bitches bureaucrats. The only thing they gonna understand is violent mama. protests. Oh, nigga, protest? Nigga, y'all trying to intellectually justify being a psycho? Sid, Sid, I will take care of you, honey. What do you have in mind? This is some of my best work yet, <laughs> I think.
Thanks for stopping by. What? Oh, so now you turning yourself into some kind of noble anarchist, huh? Nigga, that shit bullshit. Jacking people and booking motherfuckers ain't protest. That shit violent, dawg. But it ain't protest. Nigga, I'm just telling you how it is. <laughs> you all right, nigga. What is wrong with you, fool? Stay in touch, all right? Keep it gangster, dog. Look at
Oh, if it was only that simple, sister. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna leave that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh. If it was only that simple, sister. In less than an hour, missed a spot. Destroys away wine stains. Dead. Mud. Dead. Cat vomit. Dead. Including the cat. Moon blood. Whatever it is, it's dead. Coffee. Bye bye. You're dead. Dead cheerleader. You're still dead. And ink stains. Dead. 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 Your teenager is shooting DNA on every surface of the house. Missed a spot. Cleans it away. If you want, it'll even clean him away. Missed a spot. A squirt is all you need. Then boom. Nothing lives on. Criminals fear him. Police respect him. Women need him. Men envy him. He's the square-jawed yet world-weary hero your dad always wanted to be. He's the diamond in the rough, fighting crime by breaking rules that haven't been written yet. He's even, when appropriate, seen with... That's not real, me. That does nothing for me, shit. I can't feel anything. Not, I can't feel my fucking toes right now. Man, my toes are fucking dead. My toes are dead. Or my soul. What the fuck is it? Something is very dead. You don't have to. This episode of Morehead Rides Again is brought to you by Los Santos Affordable Homes and Redwood Tobacco. Before we start this week's episode of Morehead Rides Again, We'd like to tell you about a remarkable free offer. You can own an incredible, genuine Gordon Moorhead detective badge, replica gun, and packet of candy cigarettes. So you can help protect your neighborhood the same way Gordon protects America. All you need to do is get your dad or uncle to write a check for $10. Send it in, and you'll be sent a certificate of graduation from the Moorhead School of Investigation, along with your badge, gun, and smokes. Work real crimes, solve murders, kill people with impunity, and smoke, just like a real crime fighter. Or sit on your couch wishing you had a dad who really loved you and a future as something other than a ninny. And now, Moorhead rides again in Moorhead and the Soviet Titwank, or Reds Under the Bed. Come in here and bring me some napalm. Gordon, I'm right here. We're on TV now. Besides, we moved to the West Coast. We don't need napalm anymore. That's for clearing out the swamps of Vice City and setting bad guys on fire. Exactly, toots, which is why I was checking if you're paying attention. It's not your fault you're slow. You're made for making babies, and I'm made to think about making babies with you from behind while solving impossible crimes. Boy, do I miss old Pablo. What a sidekick. We solved some great crimes together. I think you're lying, you son of a bitch. Ay, yes, how to get the molly? Get me a marshmallow. Ah, <laughs> uh, those were the days. Get that, will you? 
Of course, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, I'm so happy we moved from the swamps of Vice Beach to the desert paradise of Los Santos, where American ingenuity and just a little Canadian water has turned the harsh desert into a beautiful and very natural paradise of golf clubs, sprinkler systems, beautiful fruit farms, and hydroelectrical dams filled with happy families and all the glamour of Vinewood. Oh, this place really is paradise, Gordon. <laughs> Silly me. And don't forget, starter homes are very attractively priced here. And I enjoyed a very exciting two-hour traffic jam after doing calisthenics on the beach. Exercise can be very dangerous for a woman, Molly. If you lose an ounce of that cushion, men will never court you. A man wants a woman with some thickness to her so she won't die during childbirth. Oh, you're right again, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, this place is like a dream. Mm. Even paradise had a dark side. Is that a redwood you're smoking, Gordon? Yes, a redwood. It's a vigorous cigarette that 9 out of 10 physicians recommend. All American tobacco, of course. Smooth, sophisticated, yet passionate and caring. A woman in your hands and a tiger in your lungs. Great while relaxing in a hospital or while playing tennis or yachting. Oh, Lord! Who's that? Quiet, broad. Uh, how? Hello, Redskin. Aren't you on the wrong show? I am, but actors' contracts are um, complicated things, and central casting order to chief. I, uh, come from reservation. We live there like kings, but something has come to Los Santos that will disturb um peace between white man and Indian. Uh, if only Pablo were here. With his Mexican cunning, he could make sense of what this indigenous savage is going on about. No, Pablo, he big problem. Chief! Another chief! That's right. Pablo's a hell of a problem. He's a goddamn communist! <gasps> Our Pablo! Yes, squaw. For a many moons, our peoples have lived happily together. We simple savages were um, honored to give up our land. So dregs from Europe build Midwest chain restaurants, kill 90% of our people and herd us into tiny pins, only letting us out to drink firewater and work construction jobs. But now, all this bliss is being ruined. Say, pale face, got him redwood? Yes, I'd like a redwood cigarette as well. Perfect for chiefs of all kinds everywhere. For gentlemen from all walks of life. Hmm, how? I'd like one too, but they're too manly for me. Damn straight, Chippy. Hey, I don't understand what Pablo has to do with all this. The Redskin says something terrible is coming. He thinks it's communism, Gordon, and he's not happy about it. His people could smell this stuff in the wind. There's some land of freedom, not land to share equally. What he's trying to say, Gordon, is this is a land of freedom, not a land to share equally. I, I don't understand. Oh, uh, being a woman, I can't help but stick my nose in where it doesn't belong and amble cluelessly through life. Can I fix you gentlemen a drink? Damn straight you can, woman. Two scotches and a ceremonial bowl of water for the chief. I'm on wagon. I'd use the local police force, but uh, the fact is, Gordon, they're useless. Lone existentialist crime fighters like yourself, men with an addiction to justice. They're much better at fighting evil than government fat cats and bloated examples of America's descent into decadence. Hey, Amen. We think that the commies have infiltrated the moving pictures. They're writing subversive themes into scripts to influence our children and women. The fact is, there's only one kind of red we like in this country. A red skin who knows his place and wears feathers a lot while having very little understanding of syntax. Not cuss. There's communists in Vinewood? Oh, but this used to be a nice country. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared. I'm scared too, Molly. Of what I'll do when I catch them. Me scalp them big nasty. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah, simmer down. Sorry. We'll have to find a way to sneak onto that motion picture studio lot and have a look around, see? I knew I can count on you. Who better to protect America than a drunk? A dame in a sensitive portrayal of indigenous people. How about we smoke on peace pipe? Oh, yeah. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's get out of here. I know exactly where to start. Are we going to the movie studio? No, Molly, we're going in here. Can't start a case without a fisted gin. Helps a man think. Now, where to find these pinkos? Hey there, partner, where are you from? Oh, I am from uh, Georgia. Oh, I do love a peach. Yeah, I'm real American. I sleep with sister and, and finger ship. Well, no time to dilly-dally. I've got to solve this case, and I know just how to get into that movie lot. 
Hey, Joey, look what I snuck from my old man. God, Zooks, Nancy. He'll be cross for sure. You'll get a serious spanking. Nah, he only spanks Mommy. Why should he enjoy all this refreshing flavor? Yay! <laughs> when Daddy's not looking, grab that pack. Don't worry about that cough or hack. <laughs> Time to smoke, smoke, smoke really good. It's gotta be that filter tip. Redwood! Yeah. I love you forever, Redwood cigarette. Smoking is just as fun for kids as it is for parents. Have a Redwood. Don't let adults have all the fun. Fighting communists. Oh, I hate these communists. They killed my father in Stalingrad. Look in the writer's room. I hear the filthy socialists often meet there. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared. Shut up, you'll blow our cover. Oh, I'm sorry, Gordon. Estrogen makes me weak minded. Let's not waste time. We haven't got a moment to lose on dull exposition or silly plot points. I want to go straight to the boss of this place. Vinewood is full of harlots and charlatans and socialist scum, and I want to know who is pulling the strings. We need to have a chat, bucko. Uh, you've been overdoing the fire water again, huh? We can't afford to pay your kind for movie work. We're losing money. This is uh, advertising money. I'm no sitting bull, big chief pile of cash. I'm Gordon Moorhead, crime fighter, and I'm hunting commies, see? Ha! I knew it. Uh, those aren't mine. They, they belong to the maintenance man. A likely story, blaming the honest poor. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Zelder. I forgot my artificial hand. You slip by this time, but I'm convinced you're running a massive propaganda operation here. One that's hell-bent into turning this country into a bunch of weak-minded, overly considerate Lenin lovers. Why, that's a bold-faced lie! Actors and movie executives would never push a liberal agenda! We studio bosses are too busy counting money all day and sleeping with young starlets to care about the threat we're putting out! What you need to do is uh, visit the writer's room, yes? That's what you should do. What I need to do is... Get this young lady out from under my desk! No teeth, damn it! Oops, sorry, Mr. Delta, I didn't mean it! Oh, Gordon, this is so scary! Shut up! Running out of places to slap you. We're fighting a red menace here. We've got no time for emotion. What did you do during a war, Gordon? I fought fascism. In Germany? Italy? No dumbass Florida. Now shut your yap, we're here. Get Zeus! Someone's making monkeys of us! There must be another writer's room! Don't worry, I will track them. <laughs> Over there! Ha! <laughs> You're incredible, you savage! Pablo! That's not Pablo! Yes, it is! Igor Pavlovich, rescue at large! Ha 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 ha! Comrades! You're too late! Already I have flooded your movies with communist propaganda. Uh, your workers will, they will rise up, unionize, demand ridiculous wages, and then all American industry will fail and move to communist China. <laughs> it's good plan, no? <laughs> oh, oh, please. Oh, that is rich. America will always be a pillar of industry. We're unstoppable. Our hunger and work ethic make us invincible. As if America would ever become fat, lazy, and entitled like you commies. And besides, I'm about to stop you. <laughs> oh, that horrible, awful foreigner is getting away! <laughs> Get him, Gordon! No, oh, bye-bye, comrades! Senor Moorhead, all of Miss Mom's things. Oh, Pablo, where have you been? I stopped for siesta to have burrito. Such a cunning people. They nap half the day and mix the same four ingredients and give it 20 different names. Oh, can I get a chimichanga? Gordon, I bring you a present. But Pablo, Friendly's no longer a sponsor of this show. See, si, but this is old script, muy viejo. Well, in that case, give me a redwood, buy me a starter home, and stand the hell back. 
These people are about to be put on the cutting room floor. <laughs> I guess weeding out trouble never goes out of style. How, <laughs> muchacho? And I guess I would like a red one. Join us next time for more adventures with Gordon, Molly, and the gang as they protect America's atomic secrets by setting some off. Only on Morehead Rides Again! Pablo Rebazar makes $28 million a year. Dwayne Aller makes $35 million a year. You make $10 an hour. Failure this deep calls for a deep, slow-brewed beer. Lager, the official beer of American baseball. These guys are at the top of their game. You're at the bottom. Relive your glory days. Have a lager. Bored? Stupid? How about a fulfilling career as a stunt double? To break into Pinewood, <laughs> you just might have to break through a windshield. Cunning Stunt Academy is San Andreas' oldest accredited stunt school. We have classes in high-speed accidents, taking a baseball bat to the face, getting shot, knifed in the back, falling off a building on fire, and getting run over. If you make it through our course, you are ready for the big screen. Make dull and vain famous people look cool by dressing up as them and risking your life and future health. Then, have your face digitally removed on a green screen. The Cunning Stunt Academy trains women too! Ooh. Have a nice rack? Pinewood needs stunt tits to show when an A-list celebrity is too bashful or has pancake nipples. The Cunning Stunt Academy. Fame. It's worth any... What happens when man's best friend becomes dinner? Dude, eat dog. The reality cooking show that will have you looking at Fido in whole new delicious ways. It's Bow Wow Chow. Dude, eat dog on CNT. Santos, the city of celluloid, sin, and cellulite removal. From dead starlets in Vinewood, to the gangbangers in Davis and Strawberry, and terracels in Chumash, to the drunken tourists in Del Perro Pier. It's time to take a look inside this cesspit of destroyed dreams, drug-addled degenerates, and deluded desperados that make up this great city of lights. Hi. I'm decorated FIB agent Stephen Haynes. The FIB, the police department, the sheriff's office are fighting a war out here every day in a city where dreams too often become wet with tears. The Los Santos docks. This is where it all begins. The second largest port in the world. The great orifice of American capitalism. Stuff coming in, garbage going out and hidden in over two million containers a day. God only knows what. The cartels pay off some low-level schlub and suddenly you've got military-grade weapons, badly cut crystal meth, and grade-A yayo from Mexico flooding our streets. And once it hits the hood, it's anarchy. The side of murder hold the fries. Or maybe the Chinese are slipping some of our high-security weapons systems in with the recycling. And we're giving up our national security for nothing? Who knows? Who cares? As long as the financial party continues, we'll just keep picking up the pieces. A word to the wise, kids. Never use PCP. It makes you want to punch cops or run around naked, and not necessarily always in that order. Most of the time, this illicit cargo makes it straight to the games. But sometimes an ordinary Joe lets go and loses his shit after a pipe or two of pleasure dust. Vagos, 
bloodthirsty Jacanos with a predilection for pain, papaya juice, and spicy plantains. They're one of the largest Mexican street gangs in the city, with rumored connections to several major mafias. While half the battle out here is fought with guns, the other half is with informants. Sometimes you need to become the bad guys to bust the bad guys. All right, guys, let's go. When the ballas and the families aren't shooting each other, they're selling the dope that the junkies are shooting into their veins. The families love sports almost as much as they love banging. Flashy, arrogant, competitive, and aggressive, they are lifelong bitter enemies of the ballas. Wearing the colors of the feud or the corkers, the families call themselves gang green. Of course, like all families, they love a good squabble. Subdivided into sets, such as the Chamberlain Gangsters of the Carson Avenue set, it turns out the families love shooting each other. Much as they love shooting. <laughs> Will the crew now the LSPD have had many run-ins with various family sets over the years. With the Ballas, the FIB take a more community outreach approach. Hey, hey guys, stay out of trouble now. Suck my deep fucking hand. <laughs> now the Ballas fly the colors of the Los Santos Panic or the Boars, purple, because they are the bruise on the face of this city. <laughs> While some thugs obviously prefer four wheels, other desperados prefer two. Leather, exhaust, and drugs. No, Man, this, stuff this isn't an exotic S and M party. Nothing at all. I should get some strong games. The lost. It's doing nothing. So why do I do this shit? Who do I smoke so often? Why do I smoke so often? Who do I smoke so often? Why do I smoke so often? Why? That's the thing, man. Is it the way? Is the thing? Is, is it the why? Is the thing? The absolute thing? I'm the thing. Why a thing? What is a jeez? I think my back hurts. Ah. Of course, Vinewood being Vinewood, it's not all about leathery dudes trying to show off on their motorbikes or roided up gangbangers stuck in some 90s time warp. This is the town that made mass murder into nostalgia. Of course, to become truly popular, your murder has to be both unsolved and gruesome. In a town full of alien spotters, adults dressed as zombies, and entertainers dressed as cartoon characters, it takes something particularly awful to really catch people's attention. The famous, unsolved murder of a Vinewood starlet is one such case. For years, horny nerds have wondered what happened to Leonora Johnson, and if they would have plucked up the courage to speak to her or kill her themselves. It's inspired filmmakers, writers, and copycat killers. Conspiracy theorists have blamed various celebrities, the mayor, the Soviets, short skirts, women's liberation, and hidden aliens embedded amongst us for the murder. But not all crime is premeditated. Maybe drinking's your thing. Look at this drunken buffoon proving that there doesn't always need to be criminal intent to cause serious criminal damage. Or maybe you're just an overprivileged poppycock. Living on daddy's pension and protesting about the unfairness of capitalism. Maybe stock market manipulation is your bag, or loan sharking, double identity theft, assassination, or even worse, swinging. 
On our next episode, I, Stephen Haynes, will show you the flashier side of crime in Los Santos. Illegal street racing, cocaine, and vice. Yes, speed, snort, and sex. The alliterative threesome that helped hook America on the underbelly of paradise. In times like these, it's important to remember the good things. Sure, the economy may be a little rough, and we may be shuttering schools, hospitals, and libraries to pay union pensions. But San Andreas is still the place where dreams are made. This is where counterculture began and then morphed into a nanny state. A place that preaches environmental stewardship, but has a terrible public transit system and the worst air in the world. Experience more of San Andreas, the suburban sprawl. No sense of community and no building more than 30 years old. Where fluffy children's theme park animals are both our heritage and our culture. San Andreas leads the country in removing pristine first growth forest to build generic strip malls and tract mansions. San Andreas, we won't be broken hypocrites forever. Brought to you by the San Andreas Tourism Board. You can cancel that gym membership because fat chips have all the crunches you need. Finally, snacks have gotten healthy. We've taken the humble but deadly potato chip and taken away a whole lot of fat and added a whole heap of fat. Damn. Confused? You won't be. With a controlled exercise and diet plan, the pounds just fall off and the fat gets radical. It's time to take health to the streets. It's time to make health cool. Try all new healthy flavors like radical sour cream and black licorice quinoa, funky honey mustard greens and ketchup prawns, chipotle wheatgrass, Bavarian car key party, dry Greek rub greens, and Norwegian salmon rancher surprise. Yum! Fat chips. Get crunching and stop crunches. We've made healthy snacking cool. Princess Baba Bubblegum! What are you doing, Master? I'm reading the comments on your recent videos. These people are a little, uh, a little... They're a bunch of horny, lonely perverts. Those are your fans. Be respectful. Do not bite the hand that feeds. Okay, so what are they saying about me? Oh, let me see here. This one said that your boyfriend is a too feminine. Like he played both sides of the sushi bar, but he don't like fish or surf clam. He only like octopus. But this is a terrible analogy. Where's that useless cutesy sidekick of yours that walks on the tips of his toes? What the hell? <laughs> you little alcoholic shitbag! Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. He's just a concussion of massive internal bleeding or something. Poke him. That wasn't Saki's illicit booze bath. Something is going on outside. <laughs> ah, so definitely now this guy really dead. He's like a furry pancake. Now, oh, we could, we could license that. Yes, that's what we do. License part of a balanced breakfast. Princess Robot Bubblegum Crispy Snatchy Pops and Special Furry Pancakes. Oh, no! Oh, the ancient ones warned this day would come. What ancient ones, Master? Oh, those geriatric tight asses at the bank. They say they're gonna foreclose on me, knock down the secret temple, and build a 24-hour drive through massage parlor with, uh, you know, the human traffic Australian chicks. They love it. <laughs> you don't even have to leave your car. She just reach through the window, wanky, wanky, wanky. Hey, bloke, you want a cockatoo? You know? Uh, okay, dude. Okay, girl, there is a big wrecking ball outside, and they're gonna smash your house down. We know! 
Calm down, bitch. You're gonna ruin my hair. Master, you taught me discipline. Why haven't you paid the bills? I was uh, very distracted. I have a 300-year mortgage to pay, and my pension got caught. It's hard time for everybody. Pension? I thought you was an ancient ninja master is what you told me. I am. Many years ago, I was an ancient ninja postmaster for about five years. Then I retire on a 275-year pension. I can throw a postcard across the room and give you a terrible paper cut. The post office was horrible. Licking, stamping, licking, and licking. God damn it, it's like dealing with my second wife. Your face goes numb, you take a coffee break, you turn back to a soul-crushing job that leaves you feeling terrible afterwards. Hello, master. How are we gonna save our house? Fuck the final. Wait, merchandising! But master, since the last DVD got edited by censors in the West, we don't sell so many. So no more merchandising. No more Princess Rubber bubblegum dolls, or pencil cases, or rulers, or blow-up companions, or love balls, or erotic massage oils, or all the other creepy shit you've sunk all our money into. Sometimes the path is not straight, but it's still true. Oh, I like that line. I like that. Maybe I sell it on a bumper sticker. Anyway, the path of truth is still the path of merchandising. Merchandising, personal merchandising, merch, merch, merch. <gasps> I never knew you worked in marketing. Oh, it's easy. Any fool with half an MBA can do it. Listen, you will save our house in the time-honored way. You will please horny men one after the other. They will be standing in line for a chance at you, and we can charge them $20 a pop. Master, I won't be a massage girl. No, stupid bitch. We go to comic convention. You sign an autograph, and we sell some more action figures. We rebrand the erotic oil as a, as a personal usage erotic oil for the lonely lover, and the branded socks to clean yourself up with afterwards. You know, it's prostitution of a different kind. But legal personal merchandising. Oh, it makes my loins ache. Oh, this is so exciting. Never in my years of being a blind androgynous child with a huge sword could I have imagined such wonders. Yes, truly descript riders have reached new heights. Time for an incongruous clip of an arousing girl fight. Exciting rebranding opportunity. Nothing sells like a cute animal sidekick. We have all this. The 50s were a sacred time for our nation. Good, clean food, happy, homogenous people, and well segregated communities. An enemy we understood and could control with the threat of nuclear apocalypse. Such was the excitement of the atomic age. That can do American spirit is in our DNA at Up and Atom. We invented the triple burger, the 10 slice of bacon triple cheese melt, an extra creamy jumbo shake, and of course, the legendary two way speaker box for people that are too lazy to get out of their cars to eat. We don't succumb to trendy health fads. At Up and Atom, we've kept many of the same menu items. We still serve up all of your weekly saturated fat, salt, and sugar needs in one convenient setting. Up and Adam, food from when we were morally superior. The Blue Rainbow Laser Force. We're reclaiming the rainbow. Kung Fu Rainbow Laser Force, the upper middle class superhero team that protects your innocence any way they can. They are Talula, Sebastian Caden, Zoe, Quota, and Dirk. We don't tolerate different. We're at a respectful lover dance. Yeah! Fight! Multicolored skin tight car on suspended Cow! I'm happy to wait. I don't even need to masturbate. I did it all on the face of justice. Sense is bad. And bad is good. Gonna save the neighborhood from sex. Come <laughs> 
And what does science teach us that caused the dinosaurs to go extinct, Tulula? A giant meteor? No, not a giant meteor. Man, I got to get some real Sebastian food. Caden. Ace. Blood. That's this right, shit is so a fucking giant blood. It can't and that touch me. The dinosaurs Nothing can touch me. Because I don't feel any fucking thing. Because I'm empty. And that's why I don't have any real fucking friends. Quota. Climate change? Correct climate change. Ergo, a dangerous change in our moral climate that makes us stop caring about the terrible menace that will alter the future of civilization as we know it. Yes, I am talking about a football game. Now, this weekend's big game against our arch rivals, Wickenburg Canyon High. These are evil, evil people that must be stopped. Now next week we'll move on to the insect family and the important role abstinence plays in their survival. You see, family is important, people, and everyone in this school is like family. And that's why we don't sleep with each other, as incest is just icky. Mr. Hitzman, mm? do you really mean what you said? Oh, yes. Crickets do talk, and they love waiting for that special person to make baby crickets with in a creative and loving way. Now, one day, when I've mastered my inappropriate longings, I hope to meet an understanding Mrs. Hitzman and have some little baby Hitzmans running around. We'd probably get a Manny to play with them and help out around the house a bit. Perhaps he would be a strapping German boy with brown shirt and big muscles and an enigmatic laugh that said more than words ever could. And then in summertime, he'd work topless, his Aryan sweat producing a glimmering sheen off his sizable... No, 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 what? about the end of the world. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course, but uh, you guys are going to stop it. Observe Wickenburg Canyon High, state funded. Oh, oh my god, ew! There are some very dark things going on there in the name of so called science. In fact, our recent intel tells us they are harvesting souls. No. That's right, millions of little souls called stem cells. Now, team, stem cells are harvested from a pregnant woman's belly button near that smelly, disgusting hole thing they have down there. Is that called a vagina? Yuck! Don't even say it! I believe the male member is much more elegant and <laughs> surprising. Why, well, one time, I was playing a game of sword fights with my elder... Sir, about saving the world? Hmm? Yes! Yes, we have to stop them! You see, they want to build a mutant army and give people extra arms and legs so they can win at football and fondle your wives and daughters at the same time! Really? Really! 